This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is looking at the processes of how tidal pools are formed along the shoreline, the backshore, and it's in both the Coastal Geomorphology playlist and the Oceanography playlist. So let's check out how tidal pools are formed. So you have this beautiful image of this shoreline region, this location, and you have this backshore part in the foreground of the picture. In the background you have the waves approaching the shoreline, the beach face, the swash and backwash, and the spilling and breaking waves approaching the coastline. And you have this tidal pool right in the middle of this image, and it's a fantastic area of collected water, mostly salt water, and it's formed through a certain process. But you have this location where you have the berm and the berm crest have has been built up or accreted to create a some sort of a depression or a substance in the backshore to create this tidal pool in the first place. So this tidal pool is a small surface depression filled with both fresh water and salt water. Now, mostly salt water. Now, how it forms, it is basically a ephemeral feature on the beach, which means it's short-lived and it's not consistent, not constant. So it's formed from periods of high seas, high wave action, where the either high tide or the spring higher tides are flowing the swash over the berm, over the berm crest, onto the back shore, and there's a slight depression because the berm has been built up and the berm crest is higher elevation than the berm itself. It has flowed over and deposited as a larger body of water behind the berm crest, which fills up as a tidal pool. And it can also form large and elongated channels or separate pools based on the gradient and geometry of the backshore and how the profile is on each beach. So this tidal pool will last as long as either the evaporation doesn't reduce the amount of water or it soaks through the sand back into the groundwater and flow back to the ocean, but it also acts and kind of is located between the foredoon, which you see in the picture, and the berm crest, which acts as a levee, but the waves overtopping it are gonna create this tidal pool and create this amazing uh, beach feature along the coastline. Mm -hmm. 